do 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 from cylinder one from cylinder two that was bad we're going to be measuring all of these sizes these are supposed to be 52 mil this one's got a little wear we're going to figure all that out do 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 that's a nice got some nice weight to it we're going over to el padre's house to see some machining goodness tips and tricks catch you all there we're checking to see if the rods are reusable so we're pulling out the bearings from a good one and from the bad one that was spun and seeing if they're the same diameter to see if it's reusable on the white carpet we're just working on an engine in the house it's too cold outside Sixty-eight millimeters. Uh, okay. Yeah, probably. No, no, no. It's twenty-five. Okay, I'm just taking measurements. Okay, uh, it was two inches one sixty-eight. This is two inches one seventy-four. Five thousand dollar size. Not good at all. Five thousand dollar. Then we'll gonna junk the. Just rods, but maybe salvage the crank. Mm -hmm. So the two bearings put together, they're supposed to be a certain size on yep. the outer diameter. Yeah. Okay, it's already. Okay, just wait. Okay, okay, just wait. I'll bring it. That's the third one. We just want the difference yeah. to see how much difference. How many thousands? Okay, so this is worn out ten thousandths more than that one. Compared to the other good. Okay, сорок шесть с половиной. Средний это не то, что. Okay. А попробуй четвертый. Сорок шесть с половиной. Okay, сорок шесть с половиной. So, compared to the others, okay. there's a lot more play in the second. Ten thousand. So too much. too much. What if you get a fatter bearing, or is that too much? Uh, as fatter. Point zero two five. Point zero two five. You can get plus point zero two five. A quick experiment is to put a good rod on the location the second cylinder and you can hear the the movement so those ten eight to ten thousands are audible no, okay. yep okay. you can hear it whereas when it was on these cylinder one three and four you couldn't hear any play so that's a flucy i'll have to research and see if they make a big enough bearing to fit in there most likely not and now we're back on the third cylinder just to compare and there's no movement, no noise. Yep. It might be bent. It's hard to see on camera. What was this? Right there? Let's see. Oh yeah, I see it moving a little bit up and down. Interesting. Was this just a number when it was close? Gonna put it on slow speed and there's a lot of play. So just what any, will the others have similar? Just, yeah, just hold on. Okay. Okay, 
Tony Craig does. I've never seen a bent crank. Wow. Tony Craig does. Twenty five. One. So it's. M what about right here? Will it? Will it be? Uh, more it should be more play in the middle if it's bent in the middle okay we'll see same yep. let me know anybody if you've ever had a bent crank or is this like a acceptable tolerance it should not be acceptable. Ну, и он сидел хорошо в блоке. Это не проблема. Согнулся и все будет сидеть. Wow. So it, there was no signs on the bearing surfaces of it being bent, or it seemed to rotate freely in the case halves, but it has a lot of variance. Twenty-five thousandths of play. So to compare, here's the play on the very end or like let's say on the main journal bearing the, the anchoring one two thousand a couple thousands but in the middle it's about twenty thousands of play so someone was running a, a lot of power on this engine and uh it all every all the internals felt it yeah that's a lot We measured it on the front as well, and it was around five. Okay. Yep. Twenty-five. Thousand. Twenty-five thousand. Too much. Yep. You want to keep this trophy for yourself? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, look at that dance in the middle. The ends are fine. The middle, you see the up and down. We're gonna need a new crank as well. <laughs> 